good day lords and ladies and welcome back to Mountain Blade Warband with me Cornish Knight. Now what are we doing? We just turned in stuff at the town. Were we looking for a... I'm pretty sure we were looking for a um, ransom broker. We lost a lot of people last episode which I wasn't particularly happy about. I have to hire some more people. So there's any decent cavalry mercenaries. Can even Nords and Rodox have expired? Hmm. That's not good. No, I like this game a lot. I like the medieval um, complexities of things in it, which is realistic. Ransom broker. There we go. Let's see, they got some decent cavalry, infantry. Okay, so it doesn't look like it. Now I like the medieval, because I mean, this is like grim, dark medieval stuff, this isn't like fluffy stuff. I still say that you shouldn't get like a massive penalty for burning places, because that was a very common medieval practice. Um, scorched earth policy and war was very common. So I, st I stopped talking just because I don't want the game to... Um, I suppose the best way to describe it is that some games work strangely when you have recording software on. So, for example, my Battle Brothers series, which is that it will record perfectly. Well, I mean, I don't say it will record perfectly, but I mean, when you're playing the game without it turned on, you can literally go into places and it'll be fine. But the moment you you try and leave a settlement to go into a settlement, the game basically stutters. Which is annoying. We need to basically go and get some work, or at least hire some more people. The issue that I have is that I don't really want to hire civilians, well, not civilians, I suppose. Uh, I don't want to hire sort of like peasants to train up. It takes a long time, and I really need soldiers now. So, I need to get. Somebody. Push comes to stuff, we can just grab people from here. Food villagers. For recruited people. There we go. That was strange. Grab a couple more people and we'll be done. And they just have to survive. Over that we can tax some um, wolf forest bandits. I mean, trying to keep on top of them because the moment they get out of control is when you really need to be worried. Don't have anybody. Okay, we're probably going to go and do work. Since no one is basically killing anybody else at the moment. And the quickest way for us to earn money, uh, it depends, do we want to earn money or do we want to earn favours? That is the question. Because if we don't want to earn money, we're just going to have to hunt down bandits. How's our stockpile going? Hmm. Food, okay. I mean, we could do contracts with towns to get our relationship with towns up. We could go hunting for bandits somewhere else. So I still want to figure out who I'm going to keep working as a mercenary for, probably for the Swadrians. 
I mean, the Sultanate's not too bad, but then you had to fight the Carnate quite a lot, which is unpleasant. I mean, I could just break my alliance and just go full-on bandit again. That might be something to do. Hmm. Well, there's some bandits there. Manhunter. Cavern Guard. Let's just grab them now. Surrender or die. Charge. Yeah, the problem that I have with this game is that um, the auto function is really unreliable. You don't want to be doing it if you don't. If you guys haven't got good tactical training skills, you really do not want to be um, messing about with the auto result. What were these looters? I thought these were. I thought these were um, forest bandits. Worth my time, really. We massacred them brutally. Yeah, they're just looters. Grab the caravan guard. Not even bothering, really. Hmm. When we were, the loot was being piled apart the last battle I found among the enemy's baggage a very decent cooking pot. Often I had wished to find such pots where I could boil some of those stews that my people used to warm our bellies during the winter months. But Catherine grabs the pot and tells me that I will not be allowed to taint it with a heathen food unless it probably belongs to her. I just keep telling them just to stop fighting, it's pathetic. You get it, some people don't like the other people. It's just how it goes in this game, but... Is there a month for these people up yet? Can we go and... I'm surprised there actually hasn't been like a major war started yet. They've been at peace a long time. Could probably try and improve Denerim standing with us. Or we could go to the Sultanate and basically do stuff over there. Hmm. What to do? Master has any work for us. Good day, my brother. About that job that you offered. Ooh, that's weird. Failed, had been eliminated by another party. Okay, that's not great. Probably got jumped by one of these people. So, have probably done it in the daytime, to be honest. Would have made everything a lot easier. Some of these with food left. Come on, there's no one attacking anyone. Yeah, Kingdom Nords. Oh, non aggression treaty. Seriously? Why is no one killing each other? No, but I mean, the medieval period was actually really brutal. You've got to remember that stuff like everyone, like the Code of Chivalry and all that kind of stuff, was predominantly designed to allow the nobility to not to kill each other. Because they. It was, it was like a. It was basically like a, clo a close knit club, and if you wanted to, you could avoid killing each other if you were a nobility. Because you could basically pay your way out of it. If you were a common person, you basically just got strung up and executed. Well, when I say strung up, you pretty much just got written down like at a, 
and hacked to pieces. I mean, you see it changing as like the medieval period goes on from like the late medieval period into like the high medieval period. Um, I suppose it could be. I'm trying to remember which one comes first, the high or the high or late. I think high comes after the late period. Um, is that you see a slow degeneration of that? Like you have the English. English War, well, the, the War of the Roses, which is what you consider to be like a major civil war in British history. Ah, uh, here we go, some bandits. Um, and, um, it's pretty bad. Uh, we can change the commander of our forces if you want to. people. Uh, we lost a couple of horsemen from the looks of it and lost some of our guys. Hmm. We lost a slave driver, that was unfortunate. Thank you. There we go. Anybody worth capturing? Capture the bandits. Yeah, they had sea raiders. Those guys are tough. Increase those guys. Anybody worth saving? Peasant woman, perhaps. Access item pool. Take the long sword. You can give that to someone else. The companions get everything else. With that we can basically go and turn in some stuff. people. Mish horsemen. What do I want to get rid of? That. Go hang on to those things. Keep that in case of emergency. Is there any food here we can get? Go. Decent shield, can't use those. Could use that. It's hmm. some really nice armor, but not as nice as that. See, that's pretty nice. I could get that upgrade. So, who's lacking in decent armor? I think she is. 
is. We'll give her that. And then we can go... Equipment. You see equipment. But it's exactly the same. Let's see equipment. I want to give her a better sword if I can. There we go. So it might be just her. Yeah, there we go. So things are coming along. We'll turn these guys into some more squires, it would take us a little bit of time. Everything's uh, coming along. Just trying to get work. That's the hard thing, trying to find pl work. Hmm. As I said, we can always go to the town to work, go to the local lords for contracts, but if they don't like us too much, we just get rubbishy stuff to do. Turn to ban the tree, but we're still on the basically on the king's pay packet, which is not fantastic. Hmm. No, ah, there we go. Pay some monthly fees. Um, no, but like the medieval period, if you weren't someone like, if you weren't an entitled person, which is where the word entitled come from, so it basically means like it sounds, like if you didn't have a title, if you weren't, um, if you weren't basically someone of good standing, you, your lot in life was pretty bad, like military wise, if you got captured on the battlefield, um, chivalry protected people of like social standing from, getting killed from other people's social standing, really they weren't supposed to do it. If you got capped by a bunch of peasants or men at arms, they probably would just kill you outright, because obviously you would do the same to them. But um, if you got capped by knights and stuff, it tended to be that they just ransom you. That changes That changes as the medieval period goes on. We'll just camp for a second. For the sun to come up. Right, there's the guildmaster. They don't have any work. Uh, curses. Something's burning over there. Sovereign relations. Uh, it's, just probably, it's probably just the Nords, to be honest. Any work I can do? No, at your service. Go and talk to the king. That might he might have some work for me. Who's this? The problem is this game has not has loads and downtime, it literally just has actually this is actually a surprisingly quiet period. Normally there's more wars going on. No, but like the medieval period is distinctly over violent. Um you've got to remember that because they didn't have like well, I don't say they didn't have working logistics because in the medieval period they did, I mean during the Hundred Years War between France and England. Um you have quite a detailed record keeping. I mean, it's all online for people that want to actually view the tax records from the English side of who paid whom and who, how much was worth how much. Ah, there's some art just there we can throw ourselves in. And no, but it was. 
was a pretty, um, in the medieval period it was very much, oh, okay this is bad. We're going into a river, okay. Come on horse. Yeah, this kind of terrain is really bad. I didn't see it coming, unfortunately. So there wasn't much I could do about it. Hopefully we won't have lost too many people. Yeah, only one. Capture them. No, but as I was saying, um, we have really detailed tax records, but you've got to remember that mili military logistics is the thing that basically keeps armies fed and watered. And during the medieval medieval period, keeping like enough supplies on you to do like an effective military campaign was quite hard, especially like in Europe. So a lot of armies tended to have um, a policy of basically ransacking the local countryside for supplies as they went through. Um, you see it during the Hundred Years' War, where they do stuff called cavalcades, where they will literally like ride through a section of the British, or the English will ride through a section of France and basically loot it to the ground. Um, it's basically a show of military force, which is it was a tactic that the British, ki the English kings adopted because they realised they couldn't normally beat the French on the open field of battle. Um, just because the, the, Fra the French had like a l much larger army and had more knights. Um, but it's just one of these things. Automatically. Right, visit the tavern. Ooh, those guys look good. How much do you cost? Can't afford you right now. Let's see if there's any work. Let's do that. Wait, what? Duke Carl Gus. Ah, oh, here we go. Tridine. Count Corsono Tredane over in Kel de Castle has been asking in France someone who might want to work. I watch yourself for all. he may want to speak with you. Yeah, basically each faction will basically have a couple of counts or barons or dukes that will kick up a fuss. So it's Tredane that we want to look over, look for. So what they say it was Cridane, there we go. But no, the medieval period, I mean, um, during the Hundred Years' War, the British took, a, took a, um, an approach which was to... The best way you could probably describe it was undermining the French King's authority by um, sort of... It was... Basically, what a cavalcade, what the cavalcades were designed to do was they were designed to um, undermine the king's authority by showing that he couldn't defend his realm and protect his subjects. You've got to remember that in, the, in medieval society, um, they have a system in place where the king is sort of bound. It's basically a part of feudalism. It was a bit different in France, but the general gist of it is that in medieval societies, the king has a responsibility to protect and has a, it's why you see in the pictures of, the, of kings in medieval society having a sword and scepter. One is basically authority, like legal authority to basically uphold the law and enforce justice and the other one is like military authority to basically protect and military govern their kingdom. And um, the point of a cavalcade were to basically raise finances by looting. 
uh, have kind of made some sort of trade agreement, and um, to undermine the French king's authority in the eyes of his nobles, so they were more likely to switch sides and join the English and basically their holdings in France. Go to Lord Hall. Here we go. I haven't seen my character's face in a long time. I am Mab Ravenhunt at your service. I am Count Consenso Turidin, Vessel of Kingdom Swadron, Lord of Kelvin Castle. Do you have a task for me? This piece with the carnage suits me, ill suits me, Mab Ravenhunt. We will let those swines have their way for far too long now that they get stronger with each passing and their arrogance knows no bounds. I say we must wage war on them before it's too late. Unfortunately, some of the leading hearts amongst our, realm, our realm's lords and are backing a possible declaration of war or blocking them. You are right, sir, but what can we do? It is good to hear someone who, who understands. As a matter of the fact, there is something we can do, my brother and heart, a little bit of prov prov provocation. If one of our war parties managed to enter a territory and pillage one of their caravans, or a raid one of their villages, and perhaps left behind a little token or two of the King of Swadra, we have ample cause for declaration of war, and then, well, even the carriage amongst us must raise to defend ourselves. So what do you say? Are you interested? An excellent plan. Count me in. And that's where we're going to basically leave it today. We are conspiring with evil people to make war. Now, I've been Cornest Knight. If you have liked, please press the like button. If you want to subscribe, please press the subscription button. If you want to leave a comment in the section or ask anything about medieval history, I am always happy to oblige. I shall see you next time on the next episode of Mountain Blade Warband Floris Modded. Goodbye.